been an incredible week at the Wasp UK Nationals. We've all got some scores to settle. First week ever racing the Wasp. We're all feeling pumped for the first few days racing. I haven't done this for so long and I'm so excited to be out on the water again. The conditions out there were absolutely epic. Pretty full on today. The Watson Nationals has been absolutely fantastic. Three days of great racing, mixed conditions, some fierce competition, but uh, I've enjoyed myself thoroughly. It's been absolutely brilliant. Well, the Wasp Nationals have been brilliant. It's my first ever event in a Wasp. I've had about five weeks, and as I found out, everyone said that it was a good atmosphere, really good sailing, and it hasn't let me down, to be honest. It's, uh, it's been a brilliant few days. Ah, man, well, uh, let me, where do I start? I guess I come, every year I come to the Wasp Nationals just to see my friends, just to race with as many boats as humanly possible. It's been a record breaking fleet for any domestic, uh, domestic Wasp event, so we've had 50 boats on the start line. Wasp Nationals have been amazing. Uh, epic days, loads of learning, and loads of camaraderie, and a bit of beer. Out to Mike and the rest of the race team that bashed out the races, did a fantastic job. Well done to the top sailors that podiums, and uh, the socials have been just as good as the racing. So, all in all, awesome event. It was so cool racing with 50 boats. I mean, I've never done it before in a WASP fleet, so, and this is my first proper event in, in WASP, so it's really exciting. It's been super close racing out here today, the final day of the Nationals. Uh, we managed to select uh, three uh, athletes for the racing in Plymouth, so two boys and one girl. So they'll be heading down, getting some training time and enjoying the sale GP Inspire programme. So it's really exciting and great to see them out there racing. Really buzzing to have uh, won the UK Wasp Nationals today. Uh, it was a really tricky day on the water, very inconsistent winds, some foiling, some low riding, and trying to choose between the two modes really was crucial. Uh, had some epic battles with Matt, uh, Ed Higson, uh, Dan Wellborn-Hesp. Uh, it was just awesome racing and really tight all the way to the finish.